I'm going to show you how you can create your very own all-in-one link in bio page like the one I have on my screen right here. So leave a like if anything helps and let's get into the video. First thing I'm going to do is actually go to a website called the WLO.link. There will be a link for this in the description down below so you don't have to worry about that. But when you have come to this place, uh, you want to sign up to Willow or WLO. You do so by clicking on login or sign up. I'm going to log into my existing account. And when you have logged in, you should be taken to this page. This page is basically where you create your all in one link. To the right here, we should see that there is a preview of how it will look like. So every single change I make to this will be displayed here. And you can also see how it, how it looks like in uh, every single device's perspective. So we have a phone, an iPad, and a monitor screen. If you click on this icon, you will be taken to the actual website on your device. To add basically links for your social medias, uh, you want to take a look here to the left and your a Twitch and the tips will already be displayed here. So if you want to uh, link your Twitch account, you basically click on a link here or click on this enable box and you will be able to link it. However, I have already linked it. so. Well, I can't do it again. And then for PayPal, if you want to have a PayPal link uh, where people can, well, donate to you, to your PayPal, uh, you can enable it by clicking on this box. And then you will get the option to type in your PayPal email and then select a default currency. I should mention that underneath every single one of these integrations or link boxes where you can change stuff, the subtitle means what the text that is underneath the, um, the header text. So as we can see here, Twitch, the subtitle is check out my streams here. So basically it is a little description of what this link is. So perhaps for a description for a PayPal donation link, I could type something in the style of donate here to support my channel. And then that will be displayed underneath the header text um, for the link box, just like it is on my Twitch box right here. So if you want to add a different social media, such as Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram, you simply put, um, click on the box whose social media you want to add. So for example, if I want to add a YouTube channel, I click on YouTube, this box underneath add integrations tab, and I will get the option to enter my YouTube channel. You don't have to type in your YouTube channel name. However, you can do so. But what I have noticed is that if you type in your YouTube channel name, chances are that there are multiple channels with your name and therefore it might be difficult for the system to find specifically your channel. So I'm going to paste it in there and add account. So here we can see YouTube and there at the sub as a standard subtitle, it says subscribe to my channel. But of course you can change this if you want to. For Instagram and Twitter, it is actually a bit different. You don't need to type in your link, you just type in your or tag your name. So my Instagram handle or tag is starix underscore yt. So uh, like that. And then we click on add account and the Instagram will be linked. For Twitter, same thing there. Starix yt is my tag and then add account. And my Twitter will also be updated on this preview right here. Now, another very cool thing that Willow offers for your all in one link page is that you can add a charity on this page. So if you want to have, you want to support a cause that on this page, you click on the charity box here and you will be able to, well, scroll around through hundreds of charities that uh, you can support. So say I want to support this cancer foundation. I enable it. And, and down here, you, every person that comes to this page will see this icon and will be able to click on it and they will be taken to this, well, uh, this charity page and be able to donate. So that is something really nice uh, from Willow to uh, basically have this integration for your all-in-one link. But if you have a custom link that you want to add, maybe you have a Streamlabs donation link or you have a completely different social media that, is, that isn't here, like a Reddit or I don't know, Tumblr, whatever. You want to click on this box, add link over add integrations. Now, when you click on that, you can scroll down and you will see here that there is a, there is a complete blank box where you can add completely what you want. It can be 
anything any link that you want to promote to your viewers that you feel like is very important. For example, one page that I really want to promote, which is great, is going to be owned.tv, which is the best place to get graphics for streamers and content creators. For example, you can create uh, emotes from scratch, custom emotes, you can create custom sub badges, you can make overlays, create overlays, get ready-made emotes that are animated. It, there's so many stuff, amazing quality great prices 50 percent off right now so be sure to check it out there will be a link for this in the description down below so yeah i'm going to type in the title owned and then a subtitle being like the best place for content creation graphics and then i'm going to type in the link down here so paste in the link and basically we will see down here that there should be a yeah there's a box saying owned and when we click on owned we will come to owns page where you can buy awesome graphics for your content creation channel. And you can add as many links as you want to, as long as you know, you feel like it is you're not do overdoing it. So it gets very over overwhelming for your viewers that come to this link and basically do the same process for every single one of your custom links and you will be able to add whatever you want to. Now, when you've added all your different websites or social medias that you want to promote in your all in one link in bio page, you want to scroll down here to the left um, to this box where it says add a social icon. You don't have to add this, but it, it can be a nice thing to add to your page. So if we click on add social icon, this is basically a icon down here at the page where if you click on the icon, you will be taken to your social media that that's basically this refers to. Say I specifically want to add a discord icon or a discord integration down there so people really see that, hey, I have a discord server, you know, um, you click on the discord icon and then of course paste in the link for the discord server like that and you will if you click on the icon discord icon you will be getting an invite to my discord server and once again as with the boxes here you can add as many as you want to by clicking on add social icon and basically selecting whatever you want to add pasting in the link and it will be displayed here but we're not done yet. At the left upper hand corner, there is this section called design. If we click on design, this is where you design your page by basically how the graphics look, not the links, but you design your graphics and all of that for your all in one uh, link in bio page. So you want to add your profile picture up here, pick an image and add your profile picture that you have on your channel because that that's just simple branding basically. And when you've added your profile picture, it should be displayed here. Uh, you can change the link. I feel like it is. It works with just uh, at slash starix at the uh, end. But if you if you want to change it, then you can change it here. And then this is also pretty important to have a description. So uh, I'm gonna keep this. However, you, you want to type in something just just something short like hey that like I have hello. This is a collection of all my social links. Just sh something to uh, welcome the viewer into this page. If we scroll down, you will see that you're able to actually change your theme, like background theme or colors for your page here. However, most of the good ones are um, restricted to pro users, which you have to pay for. Um, however, there are a couple of good ones that might fit your branding. So you can, you know, scroll around and see, hey, maybe this one fit, suits your channel. Then you just click on it, click on the box, and your you should see you should see your display being changed like that on the right. When you're finished, have, be sure that you have uh, saved and updated your design for your page. And then there is also one uh, place which is also restricted to uh, Willow Pro users. This page where you can see all your analytics for. Um, well, the links, I mean, I can live with the analytics that you can see at the right upper end corner here with views and clicks, really, you don't need much more than that. To copy your link for this page, just click on the copy box over here, and then, well, you're totally free to promote it on your Instagram, Twitter, or something else, bio, and 
your viewers will be able to uh, basically find all your different links or uh, social medias much more easily so hope this helps guys if you have any questions drop them in the comment section down below and you know leave a like on this video if you found anything helpful that would mean so much uh, with that said see you next video starix out